Today we're going to talk about a Jetty Lua app called RPM Headspeed from my friend and programmer Alistair Cormack. Uh, the RPM Headspeed app is a really cool app for your Jetty that will allow you to read or translate the RPM of the motor into the head speed of the heli. So let's get started with installing. First go to Tools on the menu bar, then go to Transmitter Wizard, and then let's go down to the Lua App Manager. Once this comes up here, you'll see in the list the RPM head speed, and you um, choose this one, and then uh, you can read the description of what it does. Basically, it uh, allows you to translate the RPM uh, from the motor into a head speed that you can then graph and view the telemetry from. So to install this, you'll have to click the Install button in the lower right corner. And then once that's installed, uh, you can click Done and it'll show up on your Jetty radio. And then we're going to switch here, and I'm going to switch to a view where you can see my transmitter, and then we'll get started with uh, explaining how to set this up and use this on your Jetty. Okay, now that we have uh, installed the RPM head speed application into the Jetty radio, we'll need to set it up. Step one is to turn on our Jetty radio. SAP Goblin Speed. And next, we're going to need to go to the menu, scroll down to Applications, and go to User Applications. And in here, there's the plus symbol at the bottom, so we're going to click the button below the plus symbol to add a application. And the first one in the list here is AC RPM Head. This is the um, Lua app that Alistar Cormac has made called um, RPM Head. So we're going to click to select that, to add that. Now it's been added to our application list. Uh, here we can see the uh, version number is 1.3 and we're going to click OK. And now that has been added as the Lua app for this model of um, helicopter that I have available here. So we're going to need to go back and set up the settings for that. So we're going to click Menu and go back to Applications. And now we can see the RPM Head application is listed here at the bottom of the list. And we'll need to collect, select, we'll need to select that so that we can um, set up the settings for it. So now we can see all the different settings we have. We've got uh, Sensor, which is the sensor you need to select for the uh, RPM head application to uh, get its data from the uh, motor RPM because what it's going to do it's going to translate the uh, motor RPM into a head speed for you so we need to select that and we need to scroll through our list here and I happen to know that for this particular sensor that's coming from my Scorpion ESC it is called motor so we're going to select that and that sensor name might be different depending on your model and what uh, telemetry sensors you have available for your particular model. So next we'll need to adjust the pinion. So I know for this model I have a 25 tooth pinion. So I'm going to scroll and get 25 select. Then for main gear, um, I know that I had to adjust this number, play around with it. Uh, and I need to go up. Okay, and then poles is the motor poles that's in your motor. So we're going to select that. And finally, uh, we have uh, RPM head, or read RPM, sorry. Read RPM is uh, a switch that you can assign so that you can um, hit the switch and it will uh, give you an audible readout of what the uh, 
RPMs are. So we're going here and I'm going to assign that to uh, my SG switch here. And I'm going to click OK. And I've got that set now. I'm going to click OK. And now we have uh, all the settings set for the RPM to head speed Lua application. And you can always go back to your settings there and uh, change that to uh, whatever you wish to uh, adjust them to whatever settings you need to adjust them to. Um, but let's go back to our main menu. And uh, one of the things we want to add is we want to add the RPM head speed to our um, telemetry display so that we can see it on the screen here. So I want this on page two. So let's click menu and let's go to uh, timers and sensors and scroll down to displayed telemetry. And uh, see here, page two, item number nine. So I'm going to add the RPM head speed to be displayed here. So I'm going to select that, click again, and scroll through my list here. Here we go, head speed. And click back, click back. Now if I go to page two, now we can see right here I've got head speed. Um, I'm indoors, so I can't uh, power up the model so you can actually see the, uh, the numbers change while I'm, the motor is, is powered. But uh, now it's cool. it will display what I am flying. It will display the head speed right there on my telemetry screen of my Jetty Radio. So um, this is how you set up the RPM head speed application for your Jetty Radio. Once you have all these settings set, now you can go ahead and fly your model and get real-time readouts. Revolutions. Zero. So if I were flying right there and I hit that switch, revolutions zero, it would audibly give me a, a number of what my RPMs were, or it could uh, be displayed on the screen right here. And when I landed, I could look at that and I could see what the RPM was for that particular head speed. So this is how you set up the Lua app for RPM to head speed uh, designed by Mr. Alistair Cormack. Thank you.